Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, the Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Mitchell Smith, the President and CEO of Global Energy Metals Corporation, trading on the venture under the ticker GEMC. Mitchell, welcome. Nice to chat with you today. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for uh, for having me and Global Energy on board. Look forward to uh, speaking with you. For sure. Let's. Uh, so tell me all about Global Energy. What are the three things that you'd really want investors to know about right now? Sure. So Global Energy Metals is a is a publicly um, traded company. We're listed on the TSXV, as you mentioned, under trading symbol GEMC. Um, it's a company that was created by a team of seasoned battery metal leaders um, and, and industry professionals who are backed by um, uh, advisors and, and board members that are highly experienced and who have a proven track record. You know, as, as early adopters to the battery metal uh, sector, we formed this company to provide our investors um, exposure to the shift in uh, electromobility and, and energy storage in, in what is now becoming um, a mega trend for investment. Um, climate neutrality and, and the supply exposure to the core minerals um, that are essential to it are, are very much key to uh, to global energy metals. Um, you know, we've we recently tightened our share structure through a, through share consolidation. Um, we successfully placed um, a small but meaningful um, fully oversubscribed private placement um, with the resulting structure um, of which just under fifty percent uh, is held by company insiders. Um, favorably positions the company um, to execute on its strategy and, and build value for our shareholders. Um, you know, we've, we've acquired um, strategically um, uh, located uh, cobalt and, and nickel and, and copper projects in some of the world's safest um, mining jurisdictions. Um, and that includes Nevada, uh, Queensland, Australia, and, and of course, Ontario and, and Canada. Uh, and these are really primed for, for exploration and development. Uh, we also have equity stakes in, in other battery metal focused uh, resource companies, adding to and complementing our strong por project portfolio. Um, and it really increases our exposure to uh, the EV battery and energy storage markets. Um, and this is a theme that, that we're going to continue to explore in the coming months um, as we broaden our investment exposure to, uh, to this growing sector. Excellent. Um, looking to the future, what are some near term catalysts that investors should be looking for with your company? Yeah, um, so, you know, I, I think some of the near term term catalysts on the on the macro side and, and you know, we were, I, I kind of touched that on, on that uh, already. Um, and, you know, I think we can sum it up with um, with uh, something that was highlighted last week, and, and that's the White House through the signing of the executive order um, that, that really provided some um, pathways um, for greater government support uh, and, and, and critical mineral mining and, and value add supply chains in that they publicly prioritized the expansion um, and protection of the domestic supply chain of minerals um, and establishment of, of secure critical mineral supply chain um, within the United States and, and, that, uh, and, and North America to include Canada as well. Um, that executive order is, is noteworthy in that there's been no other U.S. administration since the World War um, II that's put forward such an aggressive set of policies aimed at providing financial um, and other assistance uh, to the mining um, and processing of so many critical and strategic metals um, on, on U.S. soil. Um, and so, you know, we've, we've, um, we just announced uh, today actually our, our, our own U.S. policy through the formation of a U.S. subsidiary called U.S. Battery Metals Corporation. Um, and that's to capitalize um, uh, on, on the rising interest in electric vehicle supply chain um, and with it, we'll hold um, as our first acquisition an 85% interest in the Lovelock and Treasure Box uh, battery metal projects in Nevada, which are 
uh, in very close proximity to uh, end-use manufacturing, um, including Tesla's Gigafactory uh, Nevada. Um, and so we see really um, important and great opportunity in, in further developing these Nevada assets um, with nickel, copper, and, and cobalt, um, but also looking to advance our Queensland projects, um, uh, which are which are heavily weighted with gold, uh, cobalt, and copper, uh, and to strengthen our overall uh, exposure to the battery mineral mineral supply chain. That's fantastic. So, one other question: What is being listed on the TSX Venture Exchange mean for your company and your stakeholders? Sure. So Global Energy uh, began as a private company uh, and, and we elected to IPO on the TSX um, uh, as we recognized a number of benefits um, you know, to, to becoming public um, on such a well-regarded platform. Um, you know, it, in pro it provided us with um, uh, increased access to, to capital raising opportunities and expansion of investor base, which you know, we've been able to prove time and time again that that's been success successful through uh, through private placements, um, but it has also allowed for liquidity for for our shareholders, um, while also enhancing uh, credibility and, and visibility. Um, you know, having publicly traded securities have um, have su served us as an attractive form of transaction currency as as well. Uh, for instance, you know, with the recently acquired um, uh, eighty five percent interest in in Lovelock and and Nevada um, Treasure Box projects. Um, we issued shares to uh, Nevada Sunrise and, and Primus Resources. Um, and it's also proven beneficial um, on the flip side in, in accepting shares as well um, in other companies, um, like we did when we negotiated uh, a very meaningful equity uh, stake in Electric Royalties, which of course is a TSX V listed company, um, in consideration for a small royalty in, uh, in our Australian assets. Well, that's fantastic. What a great summary. Um, thanks for joining me today, and I hope we can actually meet in person real soon, but uh, otherwise, uh, take care. Excellent. Thank you very much, Arnie. Appreciate it.